He says at some point in our walk with God, we must, it's a necessity that we be led by the Spirit of God. And I think this is one of the primary reasons why people don't grow in their faith. You see, they just come to church and give no fault to the Holy Spirit, uh, leading them and guiding them and, 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 and him ordering their footsteps and all of those things. It's, 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 it's of no importance. And, and when you do that, what, one of the ways that the Holy Spirit began to take his hands off you is when you just neglect them or you just got a spirit of indifference, of indifference. You see that? Of indifference. It don't matter. You see, just like you just got to have this it don't matter attitude, okay? And so, so we got to let the Holy Spirit have his way. So when you come in services like today, praise God, for some of you that's not accustomed uh, to, to just, you know, you, you start worrying about time. You see, you start worrying about all these things. Let me tell you something. Holy Spirit, anything about your time. Father, you know, he could be, he could be keeping you from a head-on accident. Uh, you trying to rush out of here to get up there to get a piece of chicken. And he could be keeping you from a, you see what I'm saying? The old folks said from seen and unseen danger, you don't know what you're being kept from. But when you follow him, amen. The Bible said all things are work together for good to them who love God and called. When you're flowing the Holy Ghost, everything will work for your good. It'll work for your good. That's where true victory lies. That's why Jesus had total victory every day of his life. Because he was baptized, the Bible said the heavens was open and the Spirit of God descended on him like a dove. And it remained on him. And that anointing stayed on We told you about that anointing. We talked a lot about the anointing. Amen. Which is the Holy Spirit. It rested on him, praise God. And Jesus did nothing except what the Father told him to do. Even when Lazarus was raised from the dead, he said, Lord, I'm glad you, you know, thank you. He was, he was raised from the dead before he got there. God already told him he was going to raise him up. Jesus was trying to tell them, oh, he just sleep. He's all right. He said, for their sake. Amen. For their sake. But God already said he's going to raise him up. And that's what Jesus did. He just obeyed the Father. Total obedience. Total obedience. But that same anointing, Acts 2 and Acts 10 and 38, how Jesus of Nazareth, amen, was filled with the Holy Ghost and power and went about doing good, healing all that was uh, oppressed of the devil. Praise God. He had to flow in the same anointing that you got to flow in, the same spirit. He had to obey the Father. That's what he was trying to teach us. He was trying to teach us that. Praise God. And even before he chose his disciples, you know what Jesus did? He prayed all night. All night. All night. You see. So you, sometimes it's going to take a little time for God to do what he want to do. But some decisions, you got to pray them through. Don't let people rush you into a mess. You know what I mean? Rushing you to do stuff. You see. When you say, let me pray about it, don't let that be a cliche. Pray about it. Just say, let, I need to pray about that before I do that. Man, I have made so many mistakes not praying about stuff. <laughs> I say I'm going to pray about it, but I really didn't pray about it. Not like I should have. You understand what I mean? I was like, well, Lord, you just leave me on what to do. Mm -hmm. and I mean, that was the end of it. And God is like, you know, man, you ain't engaging me. What is that? You ain't really seeking my wisdom and my God is my insight. You already got your mind made up. I sure did. I already had my mind made up. And then I tried to get God to go along with it till I got in the mess. But Lord, I felt peace in my spirit. Yeah, that was my peace. That was called that peace because I was getting what I want. <laughs> Ain't had nothing to do with the spirit of God. That's a huge difference between what you want and what God wants. And if you don't learn how to separate the two, you'll keep making them bad decisions over and over and over and over and over and over again. And and your spirit don't have to make it don't have to make sense to your mind. So don't don't think you don't think it got to make sense to your mind for it to be God. Because most time it won't make sense to your mind. It won't make no sense at all to your mind. Must, it's a necessity that we be led by the Spirit of God.